got something different for you today. This is my Sony STR6050 in just about mint condition. Great, just a great, great, great receiver. Love this receiver. One problem with this receiver, and really this, uh, not just this particular receiver, but this model. Right? I'm going to flip this over and kind of show you. And this has been recapped. I completely redid it. So the issue with this receiver is, get that out of my way, there are no fuses in this receiver. So um, there have been reports right on uh, like Audio Karma forum that these will catch fire. Um, so a, a common, I guess, or a or modification that you can do is you can add a 3 amp fuse and that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to add a 3 amp fuse. This is kind of a big block. I was hoping this would be a little bit smaller. Um, and then I didn't really know where to install the fuse. So I actually put out a question on uh, Audio Karma. And the consensus was between the power switch and the auxiliary um, outlet here. Right, so power switch is here, connects through this board to the outlet right there. So what I believe, or what I'm planning on doing is this white, I'm gonna mark it with a pen, this white cable here, I'm going to desolder it from the block. I'm going to mount the fuse block in here. I think I know how I'm gonna do this, I'm not quite sure yet, right? So. This will screw into one side, and then this will screw back into the block there. Now, I could almost do this just by cutting it. The problem is there's nothing to hold this in position there, right? So if I show you kind of the space I'm working with down here, there's a screw here that I could potentially use, but you can kind of see we got some wires in the way, right? So I could maybe put this here I don't know and then find a nut that fits that screw mount it right there I could somehow and I don't want to drill into the into this I could mount it here with maybe some double-sided like super sticky stuff I mean I don't think heat will be an issue here so that could work uh, that would actually make it a little bit easier if I did it that way uh, and the nice thing is if I do that and it doesn't work out, I can always move it, right? So I think that might be what I'm going to do right right now. Just put some double-sided um, adhesive there, pop that in there, and then just cut the wire and screw um, screw the wire into the, to the terminals in the fuse block. I think that's what I'm going to try. So let me see if I can figure out how much I want to cut. I probably want to cut it probably almost where I put the pen mark. It should give me enough on either side. And this is a project I've been sitting on for a while. Oh, and where's my trusty wire stripper, my razor blade? I don't see it anywhere. I set it down somewhere and was working on some other project. And so I think take off a little more than a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to put a 3 amp fuse in here. And we'll see what happens. This is mine, so if it goes horribly wrong. I mean, is that something I have to sort out anyway? That's kind of tight there. You're just waiting for me to chop my finger off, huh? Slice my finger. This razor blade's not exactly sharp, so. Which makes it even more dangerous. And you should not be doing this at home. But I'm so used to doing it this way, this is just how I do it. Turn 
side. And now I may have to cheat and use wire cutters. There we go. Okay. Make sure I have the right size screwdriver for this. I mean, I have like a package of five of these, so it's not like I'm gonna break one. So what I'm thinking is, we have to strip a little bit more of that off there. You know, this isn't super exciting watching me do this. And I do have a wire stripper on the other side of the garage I could grab. Again, yeah, not a best practice, not anything you should do. All right, so what I want to do is hook this. Make sure it's nice and tight. Hook this. And And I could solder this in here, I guess. But it was kind of hard to tell what size to get or what size this was when I was looking at the the fuse block. What the hell? Oh, the thing got stuck. Should be easy, should just screw in there, right? Should just screw in there, but it stopped about halfway down. Well, you gotta be smarter than the damn thing, I guess. Just get a new one. I took that screw all the way out and obviously I should not have. Oh, you So how many of these do you think I'm going to go through getting this uh, set up here? Three, four? Should be one. Side looks good. Take a little bit more off of this side. I'm actually waiting for my soldering iron to warm up so I can jump into another project, so. All right. Let's do this side. So we got that set up. 
Uh, I'm going to go over and grab a fuse. Got to find a 3 amp. For 3 amps. All right, fuse is installed. First, I'm going to just power this on, make sure it looks all right. Make sure it powers on. All that good stuff. Yep, looks like it powers on, okay. I'll give it a sound check once I get the, uh, the fuse block installed, but... I know I've got some double-sided tape here, so let me grab that and put this in position real quick. There we go. Oh, it's kind of floating out there. Okay, let me grab the tape and uh, come back. Well, change your plans. Tape didn't work. So, and again, this is mine, and this uh, this is so shoddy what I'm doing right now. Probably won't even. Let's see. What I want to do is just cover up. A little bit of electrical tape, the exposed clips. I'll peel this off later if I need to change the fuse. And then just kind of let this float. What I may do though is Make sure this end here is not exposed. I guess I could just drill a hole in the side. Gosh, I don't want to do that though, because this thing's pretty tight in there. Well, I think that's where I'm going to keep it. I just sit there. You know, it's not likely that it's going to move and make contact with anything. And this is a receiver that um, I have in my gym, so I'm like right there when I'm listening to it. Should it freak out or anything. I'm gonna connect this to sound, make sure it sounds all right. We have sound. It's an Acura of Omaha. Yep. 
that Acura of Omaha.com. All right. Again, this is mine. I'm comfortable with what I did. If I were to sell this, I would have to come up with a better solution and mount that fuse block in a different location. But I'm, I feel okay putting it where I did, leaving it there. Again, this is one that I will only use in my gym, only when I'm working out. But I just want to offer some measure of protection. And I, I may just shoot another video of Modify where I put it, I don't know. Sometimes a project like this will kind of eat away at me for a little while and then I'll come up with maybe a, a different mounting strategy for it. I just wanted to kind of get it in there, make sure it would work as designed. All right, so that's it for this video. Uh, if you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.